Jason Stack here from the Utah Education Network and I want to talk about a few tools for having students cr students creating multimedia posters. Okay, so think of the traditional style poster when you're doing a report or a presentation or an assignment, you know, a poster board and picture, po you know, gluing pictures on, some text. Um, Globster is sort of a tech take or a web-based take on the same idea. So <clears throat> a couple things about Glockster first. You can see I'm at the at the EDU site. So edu.glockster.com and that word Glockster, I'm not really sure where that came from, but I'm sort of applying the term of blog. So blogging, Blogster. So instead of creating a blog and posting your stuff, we're going to create these posters. Um, and uh, before I log in, well actually you know what, I'm going to log in quick. So you can sign up for a free account and when you sign up for a free, you get a free account and a 30 day trial on their premium service. Um, so you can see what that's like. They are a paid service and if you're using it with students, you can go to uh, products and pricing here and see about student pricing. Um, but you can, teachers and students can sign up for free accounts and do quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit of things. So let me just uh, get logged in here quick and uh, put in my password. So everything you, you, you everything I'm going to do, you, I just have a free account. Uh, it has the 30-day the premium trial. You can see it's right there. Um, so first off, let me just show you some examples. So across the top here, right now I'm in my dashboard, um, but across the top and go to Glogpedia. This is where um, teachers and students who are creating these and making them public, this is where they are, they're sharing them. So um, for example, let's just go find, um, so here's one about uh, World War II in Auschwitz. So this is kind of an example of one that a student might have created as part of an assignment. So you can see across the top here, there's the students' names, um, and then you start seeing information that they had gathered. Okay, so um, some some definite uh, research they've done here, text research, and even down at the bottom they have their citations. So you can see the citations, and then there's a there's a lot of multimedia here. So um, probably some slide. This looks like a slideshow. This um, is an audio file. Um, I see some video. This little red button means it's a YouTube. It's pulling a YouTube file. Um, and I won't. You guys won't be able really, really be able to see these. You can see that. That's playing some photos, but a little bit too fast. Um, there we go. So the the person looking at it can can play the photos if they want to see it big. You can blow it up to full size. Let me take that back down. Um, let me stop that. But you can see. So being able to pull in um, research text, images, audio, video, slideshows into one poster. So let me go back here. And and you can see I'm in social studies so I can go look at more. There's grade 9. They've made it public. Um, <clears throat> and you can see I can even search and find stuff that other folks have already created. So um, let me just see if there's anything else interesting to look at. Well lots of interesting stuff. Anything quick to, to show you. Um, but you can kind of get an idea just from these thumbnails of how they're getting, how stuff gets laid out, just like a poster, um, except with the added, um, the added tools of being able to um, bring in multimedia. So I'm going to go back to my dashboard, and let me just uh, give you a quick idea of how this might work. So as a teacher, I can go in and create a new blog, but I can also set up courses or classes, right, and create a new class. Um, I can add students myself. I'm going to add students myself. Um, uh, they, I can, I can in, get them to be part of my course or my class so that when they create something, it automatically is turned in here inside of my class, which um, could be really helpful. So I don't um, have them creating things and then trying to figure out where it ended up, right? So we can I can do all that right inside of Glockster. Um, and the education one, because there's a commercial Glockster, but, but you want to be in the EDU version because it has these extra tools designed just for classroom use. Okay, so um, I'm going to click on creating new blog so you can get an idea um, kind of how this might work. Okay, so you have a few templates here um, that I could use. So, you know, backgrounds, 
and all that kind of stuff. I'll just start with um, just a sort of a blank one here. Whoops, too far. All right, let's just start with this horizontal layout one. Okay, so again, think poster. Um, these items that are already on here, if I click on them, I can just get rid of them. So when I click on an object, this menu comes up, easy to take off, okay? All right, now, when it comes time to build my presentation, or the presentation I wanna do, um, or if a student was doing this, you can see here's where I can add stuff in. So maybe I'll put um, just some text to start with. Okay, there's my text. I'll close this to get it out of the way. So I got a little text box, you know, for my title. So I'm just gonna drag this up. Um, if I double click on it, the menu pops open, but it's also um, ready for me uh, to type in. So maybe if this is gonna be maybe about World War II, whoops. All right, and I can use this menu to adjust the, the font, right? So I want it bigger maybe bolder, oh, and let's uh, go choose a different font here. All right, I can sort of play around with my fonts and sizes and colors. All right, all right, so I'm just gonna drag that up to the top. Okay, so I've got my, t my title in, tools are right over here, so I can come and add, start adding things. So images, um, you can see if I've already been, if I've been using Glogster, any image that I add to it will be saved here. So um, I can just, if I've gathered them and they're on my desktop or if a student has, they can click upload. It takes me right out um, to my desktop and I could find images that I already had. So I don't really have too many here, um, especially I don't think I have any World War II ones. Okay, but I can get to the images on my computer. Okay, so that's the first thing to be able to, to post those. Um, if I just want to uh, use images, whoops, no, okay, let's try that again. Um, so you get the idea, I, I haven't put any in yet, so uh, let me just upload one really quick here. Um, sorry, just so you can see how it works. I should have had this preloaded, okay. I'll just use this one, open it, um, and now that image is available uh, to put onto a wall or onto one of my posters. Okay, so we're just gonna let that spin for a second. Hopefully it'll go faster. Um, you can see that I do have the ability here to uh, add audio files and video files, and both of those either can be uploaded from my computer or um, if it's already online, I can just use a, a link, right? So here's, if I'd uploaded any videos here, I could have them ready to go. If I had a YouTube video, right, I can come right in and even search YouTube right from here. Of course, you'd want students to have done this beforehand and done their research. So I can come in, um, select one of these images, add a frame to it to make it look nice if I wanted to. I'll just click use and now that um, that piece of media is now part of my wall. Okay, so let's go back, um, see if this image is done. So there's that image that I had uploaded. Okay, I can just drag and drop that out here on my um, on my page, adjust its size. Okay, so I can start adding that kind of stuff in. Um, all right, so. Uh, Let's uh, go to audio and you can see, so if I have audios already uploaded, I can I can access them here. And if I wanted to add, there's a whole library of graphics that if I wanted these to be on the page, I can just drag those out, whoops. This one I want to click the use it button, there we go. And I can close this menu. And now I've got um, this little graphic here because maybe I'm illustrating some sort of a flow. Um, that I can have, and you get to kind of start getting an idea here of <clears throat> how you could build this, um, a student could build this template, okay? So at any time I can preview it to see how it's uh, working. You can see it's saving now. I'm gonna let it finish saving. So um, when, at, when you saved it, so 
that's sort of the final step here is to save it and that make that creates a version of it that can be uh, linked to or you can you could put it online or make it available for other people to see so you could you could potentially see you know students making reports about a book or you know reports about a field trip that they went on making them public so that other people other than just the teacher um, might see it okay so you can see it wants me to categorize this it knows I'm in the education um, we'll just say I'm not going to do any of that so oh, want something so social studies and uh, Jewish history maybe we're talking about World War II here and view this blog okay so it's it's ready to go and there are uh, that's what I've created so far now I if I wanted to right I could go back because it's mine I could edit this and I'm back in the editing mode where I can add more content um, bring in more of these kinds of um, things okay so Glogster interesting tool that's out there now um, it's worth checking out I think and um, has some nice student use now this is not an iPad app this is a website so it can be done on any computer um, it can, that you cannot create these on iPads because the technology behind um, being able to create this poster is um, that technology is flash so um, and that does not work on the iPad so you can see I'm back on my dashboard there's the one I just created I could go back and edit it um, and or create other ones all right so uh, oh back to the iPad thing so they do Glockster does have an app a Glockster app but it's just for viewing um, projects it's not for creating them Alright, so uh, that is Glogster. It's actually used a ton. It's been around for a little while. Um, and when you go to the Glogopedia, you'll see there are quite a few in here that have been created. Uh, almost all student projects. So that is a fun, uh, a fun, pretty easy to use tools, uh, tool for students to create poster, uh, 21st century poster projects, I guess you could say. Um, so check it out and see what you think. Thanks for watching.